Navajo generating station here. It provides energy to push water through the canal from Parker, Arizona to Phoenix and Tucson. Now, the energy from Navajo generating station doing that for other parts of Arizona, what is it doing? It's doing to serve the interests of senator, two senators, constituents in Arizona. You see what I'm saying? The Bilaganas, the Republicans are down there. They care about NGS to continue in operation, so they be served. Right. Which the there was a, was a research of, by, done by ASU that said 80% of the energy from NGS, all that interest is going down off reservation. That's exactly we're what not I'm making saying. any oh. money from this. Oh. So uh, I don't see how we're making any money by doing what you're proposing in 2109. This, uh, this uh, generating station is now on the agenda for Navajo Nation Council to sever it or keep it in there with the settlement agreement. That is their decision. And so we brought we brought to their attention about two months ago that this is the settlement agreement Quinnet Butai Baka Quote. Then there was some discussion, the sparks some discussions and perhaps uh, objection. So they're working on it, Ajak at that third level. And there's a group that's already working on it, it's not We're not doing anything about it. It's not in the uh uh into Arizona communities that are know it. And uh, if by chance the, um, the council decides to continue the uh, extension, there needs to be counter provision or offer, which would be no more free money, I mean water. They have to pay for the water. Right. If that's the condition that they're putting on. Right now they're getting, what, 30,000? 34. 34 thousand acre feet of water. Not a cent. The kind of, another kind of offer is we don't get any benefit. Not even one Hokan is lined up on the Navajo Nation right. by production of the power source from generating station. Some consideration needs to be done. Some provision. It's Navajo coal, it's Navajo labor that produces if the Senators and is, is amenable to those conditions, I, I would like to see that. If those provisions, particularly the power source to the Navajo Nation, if that could be made available, that would be something, a turning point in robbing the Navajo resources for all these years. The other, the other study that needs to be done is the energy revenue generated from the generating station. That needs to be put up on the screen in terms of uh, public view. Just exactly how much money are we talking about right. that we're losing. Of course. We're not waiving our water rights anywhere, to any degree, in this presentation. The other one, the counter one, is we're waiving the claims, 
claims it. There's, there's water rights and there's water claims. There's two different issues. Water rights say to shut That's the one we're waving. The other thing is reserve hat nanigi plus to a 2030 to quest there needs to be a definite direction on it. A there what are Shibans this case. The other concern that I brought up was the uh, the in terms of growth and development. either population or economically. Um, the need for additional water beyond these target caps, that's all you get. 50 years, 100 years, where do we go from, from this point to those horizon and to the next peak. Those are my concerns. The last one, the GAD, these are the options, the conditions, I, I really don't like to see these conditions put on the Navajo Settlement Agreement, <coughs> like the NGS. That has to be somewhere, sometime, as a, a counter-offer. I hope uh, somebody can voice those um, a little bit of pieces of ideas that I recommended. Um, others are, there, there, there has to be subject to acid um, oil, no waivers, no deal. I, I, don't, I don't want to see that somewhere. I want to see the light, even a little speck. AD. Let it, Mr. Gilmore, did The two senators' constituents are the ones that are dictating, and they are pulling for them. The, the one that we can use is we didn't sit at the table in 1924. Okay, let's say 20, 22, somewhere down the road. But, Kuroshi Shitsuriya, now, Aboriginal use, according to the HPD, then homeland. Homeland is what needs to be stipulated. I guess that's the bottom line of it. Oh, but I see that it's okay enough.